PVC drawing tool is made up of a number of different uh, parts. You receive these obviously when uh, you order it online. The first part is the clamp. Second is the flexi arm, which is quite sturdy, quite strong, and can be moved in many, many different directions and will return back to its normal position without moving. It's pretty strong. Third, probably most important, is the, the head of the Lucy here, which contains the mirror and the lens through which you look and view the image and it's projected down onto the paper. You'll also receive some filters. And a photographic mounting section here, which will allow you to connect photographs, which you can then uh, trace onto the paper. And instruction manuals on how to actually set up the Lucy drawing tool and use it as well. Also comes over with a handy thing here for cleaning the mirrors and a, a little hold all here, a little bag for portable, moving things around and storing them. Also the box as well has a foam cover here if you wish to store it in the box. thing you'll need to do with the Lucy drawing tool is to connect it. So you'll take the flexi arm here and the clamp and it can be connected two ways but obviously you start off here and that will basically just screw in at the end. Pretty simple. Pretty tight. Then have the end here, which fits in nicely. This section. It's quite a snug fit. So you loosen the screws. And then that is joined in. Then you can tighten them. Make sure it's tight. The next stage is to attach it to the table, which is here. And then you straighten the flexi arm, make sure it's in the right position. And then when you draw it, obviously, if you are right-handed or left-handed, you'd have it left-handed people obviously on this side and on the other side, you can alternate. And then just think about the height in which you need it. Okay, and it does hold it, it doesn't move about, it's pretty stable. You close one eye and then you look through and you can See what's directly in front of you and then you can draw your image underneath, which I will demonstrate later on. But it doesn't move about, it's very sturdy, it's not wobbling around. This isn't moving, it isn't wobbling, you can change the position, change the height. Okay, high, low. Okay, and bring it back to your original position. Okay, you can look through again. Now other things which can attach are here, also underneath, which again is attached 
here. Sure, that's in tight. Don't want it falling out, cracking. So once that's attached, it will filter. You'll be able to see things underneath it. For this clip, I'm going to show you how to draw a very basic, simple still life, just a very simple shape like bottle using the Lucy drawing tool. So as you can see here, I've set up the Lucy drawing tool with sketchbook, pencils, and we're ready to go. So it's in front of you, directly in front. Very simple object to begin with, and we'll be ready to draw. Right now, before you begin, what you will need to do, you'll need there's a little hole at the top here where you can close one eye and just look in, and you'll be able to view your object directly in front of you. Now, what this does, it projects a ghost image onto the paper through the filter onto the sheet of paper. Now what this allows you to do is basically get very draw very quickly and get detailed correct proportions in your drawings and then obviously you can work into the drawings and refine them and enhance them at a later stage so for people obviously want to get a quick drawing this is a really good way of doing it so obviously with a symmetrical object i'm going to start with a center line here to here now it's always a good point at this stage just to draw two marks and this will enable you to locate your drawing if it, if it does move or obviously accidentally you move the paper around so you'll be able to locate those dots with the image so again it's easy to do with one eye closed looking through the image you don't have to press your eye right down you can do you can look through and obviously start from the top and then you can begin with a very basic faint outline to what I'm doing here. So I'm just drawing very lightly and faintly the basic proportions. of the bottle and any other sort of details such as the paper underneath and drawing using the correct angles. Now for people who find perspective and proportion difficult this tool really does help okay especially with things like distance and foreshortening just gives you that sort of indication. You can also obviously draw and indicate with shadows and other things are very quickly and easily using the tool. So it does allow you to get those proportions incorrect and then you can go back to your drawing. and enhance the details at a later stage. Right, now once you've drawn and established the basic details, you can then obviously begin to apply a bit more detail, look at reflections and shadows using the tool. Okay. 
what I'm going to do now is just work into the drawing and go out the light and dark areas and shadows. Always looking up and comparing as you're drawing. Always think about the strength and quality of line that you're using when you're drawing, because if the lines do get a bit too heavy, it won't really help the drawing. Side of the pencil, quite a faint line. As mentioned, mentioned earlier, you can use this drawing tool with many, many different types of subjects, portraits, landscapes, interior viewpoints, basic still life. Okay, it can be adapted to many different types of subjects. And for those of you looking to create an accurate, quick and accurate representation that's in proportion, with correct perspective, this tool really does assist you in this. Okay, you will also need to be aware when you're drawing that in the end, it comes down to your individual skill really, what you can achieve once you've got the basic outline, details and other features recorded on the paper. So when you finish your drawing, obviously one of the things that really stands out with the Lucid Drawing Tool is its portability and the fact that you can take it with you, it can be attached to easels, it can be attached to tabletops uh, and it can be very, very easily transported around. So obviously to do that you will need to take away certain things built up, make sure it's nice and tight. That can be placed into the packet here. Do the clamp of the table. And the easiest way to place it into the table just across the bars over this way and place them into the bag. Carefully. And then you have a tool which can be accessed and taken with you to help you draw on location. With other items or things. So there we have it, the Lucy drawing tool. If you want to find out more, you can click the link below at improvedrawing.com. Thank you very much.